Kate and William abandon dream as couple put George, Charlotte and Louis ahead of firm. Kate Middleton and Prince William abandoned the dream of living in London to prioritize the upbringings of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, according to a leading royal expert. The youngsters have all been brought up at the royal family residence of Kensington Palace in London during recent years. But their residency there will come to an end later this month when they move to Adelaide Cottage just east of Windsor Castle in a reported effort for Prince William and Kate Middleton to give their children as normal a life as possible. Yahoo! Royal Executive Editor Omid Scobie said for the family, living in London was originally the dream. But he added that it quickly became clear Kensington Palace may not be the best place for the three young children to grow up. They reportedly considered moving to their home in Norfolk, but instead chose Windsor to be closer to London and enable them to fulfill their royal duties more effectively. Mr. Scobie wrote for the website, though London was originally the dream, it became increasingly apparent to the Duke and Duchess that living in the middle of Kensington Gardens may not be the best place for Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4, as they grow up. They thought about moving to, their home in, Norfolk, but as active senior working royals they could never be that far away from London, so that's where Windsor came into the picture, says the source. Rather than buy the four-bedroom grade two listed Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, Kate and William have decided to privately rent the property and not buy it, according to Mr. Scobie. This will be where George, Charlotte and Louis will live while they continue their school years. The move to the property in Windsor will also likely provide the Cambridge's three young children with a lot more freedom during leisure periods. The youngsters were protected within the walls of their London residence and a stringent security operation would have to take place if they wanted to step outside of the grounds. But in their new Windsor home, they will be able to freely roam the 655-acre land as much as they want because of the Crown Estate's well-established on-site security. The move from the much larger Kensington Palace to a smaller property in Buckinghamshire will also mark the end of several staff having to live within the grounds. The children's full-time nanny Maria Brallo, as well Kate and William's housekeeper and chef, will all be provided with private accommodation elsewhere on the estate, paid for by the royal couple. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and not the UK taxpayer will also use their own funds to pay for any decorative or refurbishment work that may be needed for their new home. Kate and William have been spending time with George, Charlotte and Louis over the past few weeks, since the end of the most recent school term. The family reportedly spent a fortnight in July on Tresco, part of the Silly Archipelago, where they celebrated George turning nine years old. The Cambridges are also believed to have spent some of the school's summer holiday at their residence in Sandringham, Anmer Hall. But there is still one holiday destination they are all expected to reach before the end of the summer before settling into their new home. Royal expert Victoria Ward said, since schools broke up in July, the Cambridges have enjoyed a UK-based holiday and have been spending time at their Anmer Hall in Norfolk. In the coming weeks. They will travel to Scotland for their annual summer break with the Queen at Balmoral before returning to settle into Adelaide Cottage ahead of the new school term.
spending time at their Anmer Hall in Norfolk. In the coming weeks, they will travel to Scotland for their annual summer break with the Queen at Balmoral before returning to settle into Adelaide Cottage ahead of the new school term.